Hello, I am Gary Evans and I'm a product manager for the AMC Enterprise Solutions here at Rocket Software. In the previous video in this series, we looked at how development containers can be used to provide a reusable development environment that contained a full working version of the bank demo application. Whilst obviously that has significant value, when thinking of more agile development practices, the adoption of unit testing should be considered. Combining the unit test framework available in Enterprise Developer and development containers delivers a simple way to introduce this practice to developers. If we take a look at the repo for this scenario, it's much simpler than the last one. We have a dev container file, which in itself is pretty straightforward because we don't need all of the infrastructure as code elements to build an environment as unit testing simply needs the source code. Inside of VS Code, we start by cloning the repository that has my unit tests in it. Obviously, I have to provide my credentials to this particular repo. VS Code detects the presence of the devcontainer.json file and therefore prompts me to start this repo inside of that dev container. Let's take a look at a couple of examples of some COBOL unit tests that can be written to test mainframe subsystem applications within the enterprise developer product using the unit test framework. And within that, I can either ignore kick statements so I can just test business logic code or I can actually mock and stub um, kicks, IMS, SQL statements to just be able to test this code on its own. I can also use comma delimited files to drive a number of different use cases through a particular unit test case. OK, so let's execute some of the unit tests that we have defined. Here we can see the results of that unit test. The results can also be output in a number of formats that can be captured uh, and stored as part of um, the development process. In this case, we're just using a simple text file. OK, so let's run our next unit test. As we can see from the results, in this case, one of our tests failed. For the purposes of this demo, I've actually manufactured that original failure because I've got some incorrect expected result values in my comma delimited file. So let's go and fix those. With my input data set correctly, let's go and rerun that unit test. As we can see from the output, that unit test has now passed successfully. And finally, let's run the one last unit test that we have for this area of the code base. As you can see, that final test was successful. If you are unfamiliar with the unit test framework in Enterprise Developer that has been referenced in this video, please read this blog article and view the associated video for more details. So in summary, we have seen how by combining dev containers and the unit test framework available in Enterprise Developer, changes can be made and tested quickly within a centrally managed development environment that isn't reliant on the presence of a complete application infrastructure.